The year is 2041, and the United States is reeling from war. But that hasn't stopped business from booming. Welcome to Tasteville recently opened its 1,000th restaurant. Chili Bowl bought a small island in the Pacific. And Max Wieners continues to be in and out of various ventures. And as for Cook Serve Delicious, well, it continues to be regarded as the finest restaurant in the world. Until it was destroyed 20 minutes ago. Easy on the brakes, Whisk. Sorry, Cleaver. This old hunk of junk needs some love and care. Jeez, look at this place. Do you think anyone made it? Only one way to find out. Hey, Cleaver! I think I found a survivor! Give me a hand! On my way! All right. One, two, three, lift! Holy crap, is that the chef from Cook Serve Delicious? I'm such a big fan. Chef, I've got some good news and some bad news. Your vitals look fine, just some minor scrapes and brain hemorrhaging, but your restaurant is... It's gone. I'm... I'm sorry. Cleaver! Um, a word with you? In private? What? What if we give Chef our truck and offer to help? You could be a guardian, and I could be the driver. Well, it would be nice to work with living people for a change. All right then, it's settled. Okay, well I didn't like- Hey, Chef! We have an idea! up. What's that under the windshield? Dear Chef, you have been royally invited to compete at the Iron Cook Food Truck Challenge in Nashville, Tennessee. Fame and glory await! A food truck competition in the nation's capital? Chef, that's amazing! We should leave right away. Okay, hold on, Whisk. I don't think this rust bucket is ready for a 2,000 mile long road trip. Sure it is. I'll plot a route that takes us through some of the most food loving territories in the nation. That way we can earn some money, upgrade the truck, and win the competition so Chef can get their restaurant back. That actually doesn't sound half bad. What do you say, Chef? Please. I mean, it's fine if you say no. It's really not, though. Please. Choices are important, and Please. as a sentient being, you do have the choice to say no, and then we could all go home. Cleaver. What? What? And we're off! Say goodbye to that two-bit town of Boise, Idaho, and say hello to open plains, roadside chimichangas, and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. No heart-to-hearts or chimichangas. Fine. But can you at least say hello to Evergreen Meadows? Wait, this is Evergreen Meadows? I thought it'd be greener. Oh, this place was never green. Evergreen Meadows decided the best way to attract tourists would be to just straight up lie about its topography. Huh. But it's not all bad. You know, before the Blue War, this place was hugely popular for off-roading bikes and off-loading bodies. Oh, wonderful. Five hundred miles down, fifteen hundred to go. Well, yeah, give or take. Mostly give. What was that? Nothing. Really? Because it sounded like you muttered something. Well, it's fifteen hundred miles as the crow flies, but this isn't a crow, it's a food truck. And we've got a lot of states to dodge. Like, you know, the ones that were nuked in the Blue War, the ones that sank into the ocean, the ones that are currently on fire. Oh, and you can't forget the ones that walled themselves off, like Texas. And then, of course, you have the land of the dead. Yeah, yeah, okay, Whisk, I understand. So how many actual miles until we get to Nashville? About 4,000? 4,000? 4,000. And that's assuming we don't get lost. In the Blue War, I got lost all the time. <laughs> but hey, maybe this will be different. First time for everything and all that? 4,000. Yay. No yay. Welcome to Halcyon County. 
Who would have thought this tourist trap would grow into a thriving country town? Also home to the best sports team in the world, the South Dakota Roast Beefs. Lever. I didn't know you were a beef head, so am I. Do you think Chef's a beef head too? Oh, no doubt. Oh, roast beefs. Roast their beef. Go roast beefs. Roast their beef. So you're telling me that Chef used to have not just one, but two world-class restaurants? Sort of. The first restaurant was in the Sherry Soda Tower. Chef took it from this dumpy, one-star eatery to the finest restaurant in the world. Years later, the Sherry Soda managers were found to be committing financial fraud, and the restaurant was closed. Oh, poor Chef. Yeah. After losing everything, Chef started a new restaurant in Boise's biggest building, Paragon Tower. And before you know it, Chef had the finest restaurant in the world again. That's so exciting. Good for Chef. Right, and until that artillery strike hit the tower. Oh, yeah, no, um, I forgot about that. It's hard losing everything. It's even harder losing everything twice. Well, third time's the charm. Hang on, is this Tyrell County? I think I was born here. You grew up here? Well, no, I, I grew up in Louisiana, but this is where I was manufactured. Mm, makes sense. Cairo County is the industrial epicenter of the nation. Home of concrete, steel, and Max Wieners. What happened to the sky? Oh, it's there. Just covered by smog. The pollution here is so bad, workers can only stay for a maximum of eight hours a day. Any more than that. Mm. Wait, how long are we here for? Whisk. Whisk. Can't hear you over the driving. I am literally right next to you. Nope, can't hear you. Whisk, I, I never asked. What's with the photo? Oh, that's my old crew from the Blue War. I was their driver. I used to get lost all the time. They'd call me funny names like Worthless Whisk. Worthless Whisk? Yeah. Whisk, I, um, that doesn't sound very funny at all. No, no, it, it was funny because I'd get lost and then they'd yell at me and then they'd call me that name and yeah, no, it's totally fine. I deserved it. Um. So, hey, do you know what you want to do after we get to Nashville? Uh, I don't know. Might be nice to go back to my hometown in New Orleans and settle down. It'd be good to be somewhere familiar again. Hey, maybe we can stop by your hometown on our way to Nashville. Really? Of course, provided we don't get lost. Ah, right. Welcome to Love County in the sunny south of Oklahoma. Eight, nine, ten, ten tanks. What is going on here? Oh, well, after Texas walled itself off from the rest of the country in 2031, the U.S. decided to heavily arm its side of the border to discourage Texas from trying anything. You know, this reminds me of the Blue War. Did I ever tell you, this is a great story, about this time I unscrewed the arms off of a robot. And so its last memory, before it closed its eyes forever, was of me beating it with its own arms. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Your own arms! That's horrifying, Cleaver. Why? Why, why, why would you tell me that? What? It's a good story. And they're not around to tell it anymore. Because of you. Yeah. Thank you. Because of me. So, where to next? We're going into the ultra-secretive walled-off territory of Texas. Is there a secret entrance, or a tunnel under the wall, or... Wait, are you a Texan? None of the above. Did you get us permits or something? Oh no, it would be way too hard to get work permits at this late notice. So, how are we getting in? Bribes! <laughs> I am going to bribe the border guards. There's no way that is going to work. I cannot believe that worked. Welcome, one and all, to the secretive, but easy to bribe, territory of Texas. You know, for all the talk about this walled-off territory, I wasn't expecting an endless sea of strip malls. 
Well, actually, after several states were destroyed by natural disasters and war, there was a lot of talk about how a rebuilt America would look. Texas didn't want to change, so they separated to keep their way of life. It honestly just feels like it's trapped in the 80s. Well, hey, at least Texas didn't go totally insane like Wisconsin and build a moat around itself. How else are they supposed to keep all that cheese safe? Hey, Cleaver? Yeah? What do you think Chef will do after the competition? What do you mean? Like, if we win, do you think Chef will really open another luxury restaurant? Well, yeah, probably. I mean, there's only so much you can do with a food truck. Hmm. What's up? No need for a driver in a luxury restaurant. I, uh, I guess not. And now for the most prosperous stop on our trip, Grandview County, AKA Houston. We're in Houston? You know, this place was a real piece of work back in 2020. Nothing made sense and it took 30 minutes just to travel a mile. It's a real pity this place didn't get nuked. Well, honestly, it hasn't totally changed for the better. Some people here can be a bit unfriendly towards outsiders and low income workers. So I'm thinking just to be safe, we'll stick to outside the city limits. What? Whisk, how do you expect us to get any customers if we don't get into the city? Oh, um... Just take us in, and if anyone complains, they can deal with me. Your funeral. Thank goodness we're done with Houston. Those fines were really adding up. Wait, what fines? Fined for owning a vehicle more than three years old, fined for having a net worth of less than $2 million, fined for making eye contact with platinum tier members of society. All right, that does it. We're teaching them a lesson. Whisk, give me the will. We're running over a mailbox. What? No! These people deserve it. Snobby, rich halfwits who wouldn't know human decency if it kicked them in the head. Give me the wheel, Whisk. No! Running over a mailbox is a crime. It is Houston. Being Houston is the real crime here. Cleaver! This hunk of junk can barely hit 60. How do you think it'll fare if we run over a mailbox? Good question. Let's find out. All right, if you insist. But I was going to take us to your hometown next as a treat, and it would be a real shame Wait, 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 if... really? Why are we still in Houston? Let's go. <laughs> I can't believe I'm back in New Orleans after all these years. Uh, newer Orleans. What? Newer Orleans, that's what it's called now. Huh, that's weird. Hey, do you think they've still got that market on St. Claude? I mean, most people fled the state after the bombs leveled everything. Right, but not everyone fled, and, and I heard they're starting to rebuild. Well, yes, but there wasn't much left to rebuild, so they decided to start over. Cleaver, how long has it been since you lived here? A long time. Like, a, a really long time. It was good to be back home. Newer Orleans was... nice. Yeah, sure, it's quaint. And you know, it'll be a good place to settle because I hear real estate is just really, really cheap. Uh, you know, so many vacancies to choose from. Most of them even have a roof. Can't forget that. And you know, half of the radiation at least will be gone in like, what, 30 years? That's not very long. That is so soon. Oh my gosh, that was a nightmare. Did you see the sky whisk and the trees? Oh, thank goodness. I, I didn't want to say anything, but it... It's not my home anymore. Is this Metro Central? It's so normal looking. It sure is. 
It is such a delight to finally visit a city with no discernible personality. I've heard Metro Central has the best bathrooms in the nation. Oh yeah! Lucky you, Chef. I wish robots could use bathrooms. <sighs> same, Whisk. Big same. That was... some place. I'll say. It had places you could go and things you could do. They even had sewer caps. And what more do you need in a place? Nothing. In fact, anything more would be excessive. So, considering Newer Orleans was a bust, do you think you could settle down in a place like Metro Central? I think I'd rather live in a hole in the ground. Well, I'm sure we'll find somewhere that you'll like more than a hole in the ground. I don't know. Y you should have seen the foxholes I dug in the Blue War. Everyone was begging me to dig theirs. Maybe you can dig one for me when all this is over. For you? I'll dig too. Whisk? Hey, Whisk? Whisk? Huh? Where are we? Oh, uh, we are in Dry Dock Harbor. During the Blue War, this place was used as a transport hub for both sides of the conflict. Both sides? Wouldn't that be a little bit... Fatal? Oh, <laughs> absolutely. The local government was quick to enforce a strict play nice policy to prevent fighting from breaking out. If anyone tried anything, they'd have to give all their supplies to the other side. And that worked? For one whole week. Oh, wow. I know, right? <laughs> Congratulations! That was perfect! I can't believe Nashville is the next stop. Can you believe we've been through 12 states? That's nearly a third of them. It's just a shame that they're all worse than they used to be. What? That's not true. I mean, half a dozen states fell into the sea. Washington and Hawaii got so fed up they went and joined Canada. And I still don't have a place to live thanks to my hometown becoming an irradiated wasteland. But it's not all bad. Halcyon County has an amazing sports team. Charleston is a thriving underwater city, and the wealthy and powerful are preparing to build settlements on other worlds. Just because things have changed doesn't mean it's necessarily for the worse. Huh. I, uh, I guess I get to shoot at food trucks now. And that's pretty fun. That's the spirit. <laughs> I can't believe we're finally in Nashville, the new capital of the remaining United States. There are a lot more old buildings than last time I was here. Oh, well, um, after DC descended into the ocean, the government actually sent divers to pull old monuments up from the sea. Huh. Oh, and hey, Whisk, you got us here in one piece. Great job. I know, I'm no longer worthless. Whisk, listen to me. You were never worthless. I can't believe the Iron Cook food truck challenge is tomorrow. This is it. You said it, Cleaver. This is it. The end. <laughs> the final destination. This is what we set out for. And tomorrow, we're going to win this competition and nothing is going to stop us. Yeah. And then the day after that, I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> um, sure. Chef will open up a luxury restaurant and be showered with fame and glory. And I will wander around in an unused food truck looking for direction and purpose in life, knowing that my best adventure is behind me. Uh, hey, Wiss. You doing all right, buddy? Let's win this competition! Welcome to the Iron Cook Speedway. My name is Chuck Bannister, and joining me from Super Canada is my co-host, Greta Glass. Greta, what a monumental event today will be. That's right, Chuck. The Iron Cook Food Truck Challenge. 13 trucks enter, but only one wins. Contestants will race around the track, stopping to serve food to judges after each lap. They must also survive the combat tunnel, where weapons are hot and armor plates are not. I don't know about you, Greta, but my money is on Max Wieners. Literally. Wait, what?
Chefs, start your grills. Ready, set, cook. Holy cow, I can't believe we're the Iron Cook Speedway. Don't say that. This is just an easy old run of the mill territory. Just with an extra 100,000 people or so. How's everyone doing? We all good? I'm actually kind of hungry. Chef, can you make me something? What? I kid, I kid. You're hilarious. I know. Chili Bowl has just informed me that if they win, their prize money will go towards buying a second island in the Pacific. Greta, did you see that? Just a few more races, chef. Then you'll have the restaurant of your dreams again. The only thing that can make this better would be if robots could, you know, eat. Yeah, it's a real downer. I love the smell of grease traps in the morning. Ooh, that's gonna trip them off. Did you know Cook Serve Delicious is actually an anagram for Delicious Serve Cook, which is... Wait a minute, I may have done this wrong. Us. Well, you know what they say. You can't make an omelet without making a few enemies. That's just mean! Cook, serve, delicious, three! Guys, I know this is a really, really bad time to say this, but being with you two in this food truck has made me feel more at home than I've ever felt before. And, and, and this is where I want to be. Welcome home, Cleaver. From a pile of rubble to a perfect race, Cook Serve Delicious is bringing the heat. There you have it, folks. Cook Serve Delicious proves yet again that it's the finest restaurant in the world. What a day for Cook Serve Delicious. You gotta wonder what they'll be spending their winnings on. Hey, did you see that? They're rebuilding Tarragon Tower. I wonder if any of the old restaurants are going to come back. That old place? <laughs> Who cares? We have got a busy day ahead of us, Whisk. Whoa, you weren't kidding. Look at those orders coming in. I got this one, Chef. Hey, Whisk, are you sure this order's right? Sauerkraut on a grilled cheese? I did not know we did that. Mm-hmm. It's a new fat around here, so I took the liberty of putting it on the menu. Hey, great idea. I don't know how well it will sell, but it certainly doesn't hurt to try, right? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I've got a picture It's my truth tether It's a fixture through this terrifying weather, a faint smile. You don't talk much these days.
But you gotta tell me when we turn to the bend. You gotta tell me when to start again. And who's gonna dig us out of this mess? And who can keep from staring all day at the Fumbling in the dark Years run together You stop searching for that spark After a while We don't talk that much these days but there's beauty here that's taken hold Even sadness spins into gold Who's gonna dig us out of this mess? And who can keep from staring all day?